Hey everyone, in this video I will be talking about capacities and any type IO. Um, both platforms are very powerful and uh, extremely useful platforms that helps you with note taking. Uh, it's it's object based and it's going to help you a lot with your task management, uh, with note taking as I said and connecting your thoughts and ideas. Uh, together with interlinking as well as just having uh, basically just having your thought process and ideas in uh, one place so in this in this video I will just be touching uh, about the basics for both capacities and uh, any type and at the end I also have this notepad which I will open at the end which has some of the key differences and also more information and a summary of which one you should go for so like i said they are both note taking uh applications or platforms that are going to be object based and they have these kinds of features so i'm just going to be showing you the basics uh from from each uh, unique website respectively and uh, we will go from there so like I said, it's going to be uh, helping you with your task management ideas, a work sp workflow and workspace. It's going to be a free space for you to work with. Like here it says, a studio for your mind. A place to make sense of the world and create amazing things. I'm going, I'm going to go through capacities first. So if we just go ahead and click on products and skip uh, the rest, we will see some of the key features that it... Uh, uh, it would offer you right for for example like graph powered uh, and notes structured like your brain uh, meaning as you can see from the picture on the left you can get a graph view if you have um, an experience with obsidian or something uh, you would know the graph view and is going to be in capacities like you can see on here uh, by the way, I need to mention that for both, you can actually export and import uh, notes uh, from different uh, softwares like uh, Obsidian and such. So then we've got uh, the uh, the objects or type of uh, the note. You've got like a book or a person if you want to have a biography of a person. And then you got project, organization, meeting, uh, and then we got all of these features uh, in here, uh, just listing them for us, like block-based editing, um, messenger integrations, which is very useful, where you can send yourself some uh, notes, and then once you open up your application capacities, you would just find it to be there. Uh, you could use WhatsApp for that, or Telegram, or even email. And then you can add all types of media as well, like images, uh, files, uh, videos, uh, audio, whatever kind of uh, files, like PDFs as well. Uh, mostly it's going to be images and PDFs, which are going to help uh, a lot when it comes to note taking. Uh, it does have the text statistics, which is very uh, excellent. It's going to help you with uh, basically if you have a note and you just want to know how many sentences, words, uh, punctuation, punctuation marks, all that kind of stuff, you can see from uh, the uh, test text statistics. And then you've got all of these other things, uh, tagging, which is going to help you a lot with organizing your notes and stuff. You've got uh, PDF export, which we talked about. We've got backups sharing, page layouts, uh, block linking, AI assistant. Uh, I, I don't think AI assistant is actually available uh, just yet. Uh, we, I'm going to, let's, let's just leave AI assistant for now because I'm going to show you a different page where, where they actually talk more about the AI assistant. But basically you get to do task management uh, for you and your team, task actions uh, and like I said, import notes from other apps. So you've got a plenty of features. And by the way, these are not the only features that there is, but it's just a handful of uh, key features. Like we've got daily notes, like it says here, 
uh, daily activity weekly overview monthly overview and you've got plenty of templates uh, we've got the tag system like i said earlier it's going to help you a lot with organizing your notes into categories uh, which is going to be very much helpful because just to remind you the uh, main key point for both applications is interlinking and connecting your thoughts and ideas so having tags is just going to make things easier for you easier for you uh, input integrations like we talked about we've got blocks tagging daily notes and so on uh, now let's just go swiftly over uh, uh, any type but before that you can just check out the rest like i said i'm not going to show you everything because there's a lot of things like if you go to use cases here it will show you like the most impressive uh futures uh maximizing work efficiency and if you click on uh, each one here it will give you more and more and more information and then you can also see and like content types that you can create uh you can see tutorials on how to use it capacities is actually just full of futures to go through so if you want to check out more key futures uh, you can just head on to capacities.io and check them for yourself and you've got also faqs uh, if you want which is uh, uh, very nice but i want to actually point out something since we are here uh, if i just find it real quick which what devices are supported now this is so uh, a slight downside when it comes to capacity capacities compared to any type capacities is a desktop app for for mac and pc and as a web app in your browser but for the time being of this recording uh, it does not support an application for ios or android so it doesn't have a mobile uh, app basically uh, next we've got any type for any type uh, it's basically the same thing it's just uh, unique in its own way and we can just again scroll down and see uh, i'm not going to go through everything here like you can see imagine an app where you can do everything and that's basically what they are really pushing here like you get daily journal uh, trip planner recipe book study hub habit tracker data vault whatever it may be you can use in any type that's basically basically what they are trying to push is just like the name entails just everything in one space which is uh, awesome now they really emphasize the protection of your notes uh, protect your thoughts and data with end-to-end -end encryption uh, i will touch more on that in a second uh, and then you can nobody can stop you from accessing your account uh, they offer this solution so even if for some reason any type goes away your notes are not going to be lost they will always be there with you it's offline which is very very excellent and this way you can just always keep your notes uh, basically entrusted with so trust not belief pure transparency uh let me see some more things like we've got the uh, templates databases widgets we've got single object like the graph view that i talked about you got tables kanban view gallery view uh, i mean you, you can just go on and on when it comes to it and uh the the diff the main difference that i want to talk about which we saw in a cell earlier with capacities if we go to get the app you will see that it does support mac linux windows android and ios so it does have mobile apps which is a huge plus now that doesn't mean uh, that we right away just skip on capacities and go to uh, any type for only that reason because again you can access capacities on your phone within the web uh, browser so just a reminder and they are also working on a mobile app so let me just real quick open up this notepad and see uh, what i wrote in here so uh, they both are excellent object-based 
uh, note that is not note taking platforms, which helps you uh, visualize your notes in an organized structure. Uh, they both offer a free and open space for your thoughts and ideas. Like I said, it's just a place where you can just relax and basically have everything there in front of you, your thoughts and ideas just connected uh, and help connect everything in one place in workspace. So let's talk about the pricing. So for the pricing, uh, both capacities and any type are free to use. If we go here and we click on pricing, as well as if we go to FAQ for any type and see the pricing, how much does it cost? So let's start with any type for now. Any type can get started with, uh, anyone can get started with any type free of charge. So basically it's a free platform and then they uh, say you get up to one gigabytes of storage and then if you if you need more you can just contact them uh, i also since i came to this page i want to read this paragraph because it's really interesting it's what they truly emphasize here uh why should i use uh any type with any type you own the keys not us meaning everything you create and store is e to e end-to-end -end encryption uh, so E to E uh, encrypted local first and synced in your local P2P network. That means you just own everything that you create within any type. It's not stored in some server. Uh, basically, you only have the access to your notes or people you share it with. And that is it, which is awesome. So again, pricing is for free. And then uh, if we go to capacities, uh, you will read, we believe that everybody should have access to tools for building knowledge. Uh, the core product of capacities is and will remain free. And then you will see here that they are working on capacities, bro, for AI assistant. This is why I told you AI assistant, I'm gonna come back for that later because I don't know if it's like in place yet or not, but here it is you can use it uh with that but you can also donate uh to help them out but generally speaking both uh any type and capacities are for free now let's talk about some of the key features so let's start with capacities it is extremely extremely user friendly and uh it has a extremely friendly uh, user-friendly workspace and dashboard. Uh, it does have powerful integrations with the WhatsApp, uh, Telegram, that kind of stuff, and more integrations as well. The text stats that we talked about, which is a very powerful future that it has, where it shows you st uh, text stats for the whole page. And then you can also select text and view how many words, sentences, characters are in the area you've highlighted and then you also get to search whole databases when linking so this is very nice it's the, a lot of platforms or different platforms don't really have this like for example notion so when you click on the relation box if you have something connected and you click on the relation box you get a drop down menu of the relations that are obviously related related to it and still if somehow you didn't find it you also get to filter them and multi-select them this is going to help you in the long run so if you have used capacities for a really really long time uh, and you have a, a whole lot of relations connected to one another eventually it's going to get cramped up but capacities makes that much much easier to filter through and make it just make your life easier when it comes to linking and it is easier to use than any type because it's more i would say more uh simpler in terms of interface ui that kind of stuff it's not as complex as any type i'm not saying that it does not have um powerful uh, features i'm talking just about the workflow it's 
simpler or more easy than uh, any type. So it's more uh, for, for a lot more people when it comes to get that kind of thing. So for people who are not so much into tech, they will have an easier time using capacities. So for any type, everything you create and store is E2E encrypted. This is the same paragraph, local first and synced and your local P2B network. Again, only you get to access your notes, nobody else. Uh, provides a lot in terms of customization, uh, even more than capacities. I would say a lot more than capacities even. So when it comes to customization, any types, any type takes the cake. Uh, you can download mobile apps, which is coming soon for capacities to be fair, but for the time being, uh, any type is the one that has that. So if that's uh, what you're looking for, I would say any type. Powerful integrations, uh, both do have uh, powerful integrations. So that's a plus, and then it's more complex and versatile. By complex, I don't mean it's crazy and hard to use uh, or impossible to use but in terms of workflow it is uh, more complex than uh, capacities but in a good way it's not like the crazy kind of complex it's just, if if you are into more uh, i don't know how to really make it clear but if you are more into complex and a lot of things going on around you uh, then any type is going to be the one for you. If you are more into the simpler stuff, uh, one thing at a time kind of thing, then uh, it's not exactly that, but I hope that you get the idea. So, for the summary, since both are very powerful and free, I personally suggest that you spend time uh, using both and get a feel for yourself on which one you prefer, since the main difference between them is the workflow. Now, the futures is not, it's a secondary thing, but the main difference between any type and capacities, personally, from my own research, I would say is the workflow uh, and maybe like the customization thing for any type. But other than that, I would say just the workflow and that's it. So what I think you should do is just have a feel for both, experience both of them. And right away, it would click for one of these two platforms for your own personal use. Uh, this way, you can then commit to one platform. So I say here next, unless there's a certain unique feature that is in one platform and is a game ch changer for you, I think using both and deciding which one to stick with later is the best play. So maybe there's a future in here or within the website that you have, you have just uh, seen that sways you more towards capacities or any type. Uh, but if none of these features really um, like make that big of a difference, just use both and see which one works for you. Because personally, I think it's just a personal preference kind of thing, like the feel is the only difference not the only but the most important or prominent difference between capacities and any type but regardless of which one you choose both are very very powerful and very excellent for uh and for a lot of things really so i hope this video helped you uh a little bit on the basics for both capacities and any type and that's all I have to say for you today. So thanks for watching.